Good morning everyone. My name is Vijay Gupta and you are watching biology classes. So welcome to all of you in this lecture of biology. Students, today I am going to start a new topic for you that is interferon. Interferon topic is related to virus. A chapter virus is included in the syllabus of 11th, 12th and BSc student and it is also important for our NEET students. So let's start the video. So first of all, what is the interferon? What is the definition of interferon? Interferons are the actually a protein. It's a signaling protein which produce inside those cells in which virus has attacked. So the interferons are the proteins which alert the adjacent cell and provide them resistant to the infection of the virus. What about the definition? Interferons are the set of proteins. It's a set of protein. Interferons are the signaling protein which are released by the virus infected cell and these interferon produce and release in those cells in which virus has attacked and which react with the uninfected cell and the nearmost or the adjacent cell which are uninfected so as to render them render means to provide them resistant to the infection to virus and these interferons provide resistant to these cells which are present in the nearmost of the cells so it was the definition of the interferon now i will make a diagram of interferon and then i will tell you about the detail in the interferon so let's make a diagram So students our diagram is ready now now i will explain about the interferons these are two cells as you can see in the diagram this cell is infected by the virus and this is an infected uninfected cell which is so students our diagram is ready now i will explain in detail about the interferons so there are two cells one cell which is infected by the virus while another adjacent cell which is the present near to the infected cell th this is totally unaffected by the virus so in these two cells as you can see here this is the virus this virus attacks on a cell and release its nucleic acid into the cell now this nucleic acid multiplies and to form numerous viruses inside the cell now the dna of the cell which is present inside the nucleus and we know that nucleus is the brain of cell so this dna produce a protein by with the help of protein synthesis now first of all i would like to tell you about the protein synthesis protein synthesis is a general process which occurs in our cells and this protein synthesis consists of two main steps the first step is transcription while the another is translation so there are two steps in protein synthesis at first dna produced mrna and the phenomenon is known as transcription and after that mrna produce protein and the phenomenon is known as translation transcription and translation both the processes are collectively called as protein synthesis so in this cell after the infection of virus protein synthesis takes place and a uh, interferon an interferon which is a signaling protein is formed with the result of protein synthesis so first of all the dna of the cell produce mrna and the process is known as transcription the phenomenon takes place inside the nucleus the transcription takes place inside the nucleus after that this mrna comes into the cytoplasm and produce a protein which is known as interferon it is a signal a signaling protein and formation of interferon or a protein is known as translation so transcription takes place inside the nucleus while the translation takes place inside the cytoplasm and as the result of protein synthesis interferons are produced now these interferons moves towards the adjacent cells this is the interferon and suppose it is inter it is entering into the adjacent cell and alert this cell for the virus infection infection of virus so when this interferon 
provide signal to this adjacent and un an uninfected cell the dna of this cell also produce mrna and the process is again known as transcription and this mrna produce an antiviral protein and the process is known as translation so after the protein synthesis a protein is formed which is the antiviral protein now when these viruses attack on this cell this antiviral protein protect the cell from the infection of the virus so the conclusion is interferons are produced in those cells in which virus has been attacked and it provide signals to the adjacent cell to provide them resistant to the virus so now i would like to tell you about the definition in detail interferons are the set of proteins as i told you before it's a protein so interferons are the set of proteins which are released which are released by the virus infected cell this cell is infected by the virus so this cell will release the interferon so infected cell and which reacts with uninfected cell so this interferon react with this uninfected cell so as to render them render means to provide them resistant resistant to the infection to virus so interferon provide this cell a resistant to the virus so this was the definition of the interferon now one more thing there are two scientists named alec isaac and jean lindemann in 1957 they discovered the interferons first so it was all about the diagram about the definition and i hope the definition and the diagram are very clear to you so in this video it was all about the interferon in my next lecture i will tell you about a new topic so thanks for watching have a good day mm -hmm.